G'day everyone. Thanks for joining me again. I'm the Aussie Mudlark. Well, as you can see, I'm in central London again. I have not been in central London for months. Um, restrictions are finally being eased. And I'm able to get out and spread my wings a little bit further than the river down in the backyard, so to speak. So um, yeah, so I'm heading down to the water now. Um, got a couple of hours till low tide. So um, yeah, bear with me because typically I'll be searching the high tide mark for the first hour or so. And as the tide gets down, you get down into that really old history. You probably notice towards the end of the videos is when the good stuff really starts to turn up. So hopefully um, we find some good stuff down here. If we're lucky, might be something medieval, something Tudor, who knows, anything, anything's gonna be good today. So I'm um, yeah, really looking forward to it. So see you down the mud, let's get dirty. Now this is the amazing history down here in central London. Now I've just picked up these couple of little bits of um, um, pottery fragments, a bit of rope and a little star detail there. We just look, look around, you know, there's old old clay pipes. You know, that they'll be hundreds of years old. Little fragments. Um, there's just everywhere. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Pipe pieces. Absolutely full of it. There it is right here. Bit of a pipe bowl. This is just everywhere. It's just so much history in one small area. It's amazing. Anyway, keep searching. It's gonna be a fun day. Sometimes some things really take you by surprise. When you expect to have to search really hard. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes they're sitting right there on the surface. Check out that. Oh, sorry for the camera work. And I believe that says Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Oh, it's almost oh, very light. Sorry, I thought it was um plastic for a minute. It was so light, but it's not. That's in very good detail. Ready for the, the turnover? 1965, cool. All right. What's that? 55 years old. No, it was just sitting here, right on top of the sand. That is in incredible condition. Look at that. Sweet. I don't find many coins sitting on top like this. That is really nice. That's a very young head, Elizabeth. I don't think I've ever found a, a coin with the um, Queen Elizabeth's young head, young head on it like that. If I have, I haven't been able to um, see the detail. That is really nice, isn't it? That kind of a first for me, I could call it that. That is very, very nice. I am super chuffed about that one. In the pouch, what a super day start to the day. Now, I'm amazed. I was about there before, and I'm following this one line. If you can see where there's a lot of stones, there's a lot of stones. Here, there's a patch of erosion right through the middle. And look what's here. Again, sitting right on top. It's another one of the um, ship's, ship's half penny. What's, 19, oh, it's a year later, 1966. Let me guess, it's gonna be a, another Elizabeth. Yep, absolutely. Oh, oh, two coins in two minutes. So I'm just looking ahead now. I'm trying to see where there's gonna be any more. I don't want to turn the camera off in case there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a hoard. Now they must have come from the same source, surely. 65 and a 66. Well, I don't think I've ever found one of these before. Oh no, I did, I found a 45 one once on the other side of the river, down here under the, um, under the tower bridge. But never around here. I normally find stuff here that's quite older than this, so it's a surprise actually. So, let me just see, I've come from, I want to go back over where I've walked. That's where my knees were last time. Um, now if you see something and I miss it, I'm going to cry later. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not. Half pennies, half pennies. Come and see me. Mm, okay. 
I am going to go searching, but I will stop. This could get quite boring if I'm sitting here for 10 minutes just filming myself walking this, searching this one little washed out area. Ah, oh, two half pennies, cool, I'm very happy with that one. Anyway, I'm gonna concentrate here for a while, so I'll turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on if I find something else. First penny today. So hopefully a sign, look at the head on that. Hopefully the sign that we're getting into some age. Let's see. Ah, come on. Oh, that's nice. Look at look at the look at the hand twisted head on that. Um, one right next to it too, wasn't it? There, here's another one. In the mud. Oop, let's see if I can sort out my camera work. Well, that's a big one. Look at that. What a monster. Okay, now they are most likely Tudor. So that's some pretty old pins there. So hopefully we're starting to get into some nice old mud. And we're gonna find a little bit of history. Fingers crossed. Okay, I can see something interesting. It blends in very well. What do you think? No. Is it? No, it's not that. Actually, no. Um, is it? No. What if I said it's that? Take a Captain Cook at that, huh? Look at the shape on that. That's, that's quite interesting. No idea what that could be. But that is a man-made shaped detail on there. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's quite interesting. That's quite, quite shiny. It could be brass. Ooh, Ooh I'm a little bit excited. Is that some kind of, oh, I was gonna say it's like, should not be guessing. I'm going home dirty, but it's worth it. Oh wow, cool, what is that? I think it's broken off something. I can see it's quite badly damaged there. Is that like a, like a really old, like a, a coat hook type thing? Or is it a bit of window furniture? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I love finding things that are old and unknown. What do you think that could be? All right, I think I'm gonna to have to post this on some forums and say, help me. Because I've got no idea. Well, I've got ideas, but I don't know the answer. Okay, hopefully I can find out. If not, I need you to comment below and let me know what you think this strange thing could be. This could be something interesting, small but interesting. That, I believe, is a bit of an old buckle. Wow, that's quite old. That's very old. So I'm zoomed right in. I hope the camera works okay. Oh, a bit of detail on it. That would have been a lovely buckle. Again, potentially, it could be Tudor and Medieval. Shame it's only a fragment. But look at the detail on that. Wow. That is stunning. Look, right across there. That is so nice. Oh, wouldn't I love to find a whole one of these? That would have been a gorgeous piece of buckle. It's very fragile, it's almost broken in the middle, so I hope it, um, I'm gonna take good care of it. Nice. Today has been a great day. If I find nothing else, I've had a great day today.
pins and pipes. Look at that. Do I say it's a treasure trove of Tudor pins?1600s probably the early 1600s so that is probably about 400 years old a 400 year old clay tobacco pipe beautiful bit of detail on the top look at that no maker's mark on a heel that is a lovely lovely bowl that, that was just see what was sticking out of the mud that white bit and all the back bit was like hidden down in the Thames mud. Oh, that's a sweet little thing. Okay, well, I'm not a pottery expert, but to me, that looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that could be. I'm sure, there'll be pottery experts who will know exactly what that is. But look, you can see where someone has been handmade, and that is someone's little fingerprints that it's pushed into the corners to give it that detail. That is really nice, but as I was leaning in, I saw something else. I wonder if you saw it too. I'm glad I saw it, or you would have said, I think you just missed something really cool. Because look at that. Now I'm pretty certain, yep, look at that seam. That is a lace aglet. So that's from the 1600s. So that would be Tudor. If you've seen my videos before, you know that is they basically put that on the end of pieces of lace or ribbon to for two things. One, to stop it from fraying, and secondly, to help um, with threading. Pretty much like what you get on the end of your um, shoelaces. Yeah, well, this was the Tudor version of it, and that would come up beautiful and golden color when I clean that up. So, yeah. Wow, Tudor day is an excellent day. It looks quite fragile. Ooh, where is it? Oh. oh, that isn't going to last long. But again, it's another Tudor lace aglet, which is just about to break in too, unfortunately. Been in that mud a little bit too long. How about down here? Look at these little hidey holes. Have a look right up there. Can you see something round and musket ball -y? Look at that. Do you think that could be a musket ball? Musket ball shape. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh, oh it's heavy. Sorry, filming it so hard, the creature right in. Oh no. Oh, just a minute. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh, why has it got a hole in one side? So I, I thought it was a musket bowl. I thought, no, it's, um, it's a fishing bait. But it's not, it's, it doesn't go right through. That must be part of the, um, the moldy process, molding process for making them. It was poured in there. For some reason, it's got a little defect there. That is a solid, Little lead musket ball. Yeah, that's good. That is a very old piece of lead. Again, hundreds and hundreds of years old. Can't really put an exact date on it because it is just a piece of lead. Cool. Look at it, that, that's, look how. I wonder if that's um, hit something. Oops, sorry for the camera work. 
I'm zoomed in. Look at all the flat pieces on it. One of those has been fired and gone bang and flattened the end there. Wow. If only it could talk, if only it could tell me the stories of what this has seen, hey? Have a look at what's up in front of me there. Oh dear. Oh wow. That's got a crown on it. Oh. That is absolutely special. That is gorgeous. I wonder what that could be off. Oh my goodness, that is something. That is an amazing piece of pottery. Oh my lordy lord. That could be the best piece of pottery I've ever found. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh dear. That is enormous. That is an enormous piece. <gasps> oh. Okay. I cannot wait to research this. This is stunning. This is absolutely spectacular. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm just over the moon. I can't believe this. Thank you, Thames. Thank you, Father Thames. You've blessed me. Oh my goodness. All right, I'll find out what this is and I will let you know. Potentially another stunning find. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Amazing pieces of pottery and then gorgeous gemstones. What? Okay, who's, who's the um, gemstone experts? This beautiful little purpley colored gem. That is stunning. Wow. Most gorgeous that is. That is beautiful. Colors on that. Is that a bit of quartz? Some kind of purple quartz? Very nice. Hey. Very nice. All right, I've just sent a message to my Aussie mate, Darren Evans. It's his evening over there, so he's been able to get back to me. He believes this could be a piece of Vestibold pottery. So that is pretty cool. So at least I know, I've heard of that before. I've got a starting point. I can now do some research. So thanks Darren for your help. Time to see if I can find a bigger image of this. Well, I think this is going to be another first for me. And it gets broken, but I think I know what that could be. You think you know? Be a hint. It's not. It's not part of a clay pipe. Let's see. Yep, no hole. I believe that is a Georgian wing curler. Oh, cool! It's my first one. Yeah, yeah. That is nice. So that is, that would be yeah. That's seventeen hundreds. So you know, two fifty, three hundred years old. That is made now. Remember, they were made from um the same clay that um clay pipes are made from. So cool. My first Georgian wig curler. And that is why I love mudlucking so much. I will never get bored with those amazing finds. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week back down here again on the Thames. So I search for London's lost history.